Andrew McGahan with Severe MMA and I'm standing alongside Luke Caffrey. Luke, I saw your fight, your last MMA fight two years ago and we thought you had great stand-up. It was in Mark Walker or...? Uh, it was in Dundalk. Dundalk, oh, that was uh, David Ziggy. Yeah, I weighed in, that fight was at 57, I weighed in at 50, 50 kilos. I, I took the, the fight on a day notice and I was just like, fuck, I haven't had a fight in years because I couldn't find one. So I was like, right, I'll take this one at 57 because I offered my brother first and he said no. Because he couldn't make weight or something, so I was like, right, I'll take that. So, uh, When I spoke to your coach, Paul, he said you'd only been training boxing for six months. You stepped away from MMA to focus on boxing. It's a, dis- a decision that was vindicated tonight. Uh, boxing's my life. Like I absolutely love boxing. Boxing is 100% my passion. MMA, I love it. No, but it's not my passion. It was more of like a hobby, but tonight was amazing. So you know, I might stick to it. And I noticed in particular your head movement. In something in MMA, we don't see a lot of it. You were ducking under hooks and stuff like that. Is that something that you'd worked on? It's a habit. <laughs> Just habit from boxing. Like, I haven't fought in main two years, as you said. I haven't trained it in two years. I only got back now. So, But i kind of always natural to the grappling side of it. But my striking, ever since I started the boxing big time, I was striking. Just, it's top notch for MMA standards. So since you focus on boxing, you might see things other fighters might yeah, see in them. striking. You had a lot of success with a right hook. Was it something you saw in his defense? Uh, he kept on rushing me with his hands up, and he showed that jab every time, leaving his hand down. As he came in, I check hook and step to the side and leave him flying against the cage. So then I have him pinned, and I won't, I won't go mad because I'm a smart fighter. I won't go mad. I'll just keep him there, keep him there, keep him there. Pick my shots. I never throw a shot. I didn't know I was going to land. That's the difference for me. Most fighters like. I'm smart. And finally, one uh, your finish. A uh, bit of a Phil Baroni finish from the UFC a couple of years ago. You had him against the cage. Did you know after the first two shots of the combo that it was that I was see, it? I, I hit my right hand, straight right, and he wobbled back. And worst thing could ever do against me because I love body punching. He folded up against the cage. I was like, right, that's it. It's over. It went down. Boom. Left hook to the stomach. Body was just down. That's it. Look, I have to say, I really hope it's not two years before you have another MMA fight. Uh, If you don't consider going forward with boxing, I think you'd be just fine in MMA. Yeah, I think so.